All right, welcome back, guys. This is As the Vine Hearts walkthrough episode thirty. And if you remember last time where we left off, we went ahead and charged up our trust gauge, and now we're going to go ahead and fight the uh, small boss, or Vanessa and Julius, on the other side of this bridge. So let's go. The minecart looks pretty rickety. I hope it wouldn't break if we try to ride it. <laughs> I'll hold, it'll hold. Now let's give it a spin. Here we go. Woo. <laughs> We're rich. Everywhere you look are jewels, jewels, jewels. Hmm. It looks like you're right about coming here to line our pockets. Vanessa, we're not lining our pockets. We're doing the people who come here a favor by cleaning them out of <clears throat> by cleaning out of the way for them. You're absolutely right. How silly of me to think otherwise. <laughs> it's just silly side of Bolton Four. How sweet of you to say that, Julius. Huh? Did you hear that? What? Ah. Uh, huh? Oosh. Ow. Zack, look what happened to us because of you. It's not my fault the truck suddenly ended. Plus, how was I supposed to see that far ahead in this dark place? This is the first time I've experienced death nipping out my heels so closely. If we hadn't been going as fast as we were, we would have fallen out to our deaths at the bottom of the pit. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering about these jitters, it's excitement I'm feeling, not fear for my life. What are you idiots doing? Great, why are you here? Hmm, <laughs> to get filthy rest of jewels, of course. Do you have permission from the owner to take those? Who needs that when I am who I am? As the hero of this world, I'm allowed to, do, to take anything or to do anything I like. <laughs> what idiot recognizes a thief as a hero? It was two years ago I met Zack. How can that be if I'm here in this world? It's time to clear this once and for all. Julius, what do you want? Have we met somewhere before? If it was him who met me at the time, he should know who I am. Even if he tries to lie, I'll know, since he won't. He wouldn't know any of the details. Huh? Oh, aren't you that survivor from the village destroyed by the monsters? But how? If I remember right, it's been about two years since then. I almost don't recognize you, but you've turned into a fine piece of meat. Two years is definitely the right time frame. Then it would mean it wasn't you who saved Ariel. Th that can't be right. Or she now. She was being grateful for to me saving you. You've come to thank me, did you? That's admirable. Now come follow me. J Julius, what are you saying? Come here already. No, leave me alone. Give it up. Can't you see she doesn't like you? Oh, don't get in the way of a new budding relationship. Hey, Vanessa, let's deal with these fools first. Fine, it's not like he'd ever like another woman over me anyway. These two never learn when to listen. It's time to deal with them. Alright, so after a fair amount of dialogue, we're going to get into this fight here. Now, this fight is kind of just, um, it will depend on certain things. Vanessa is always going to eye shot, and I think, but it depends on the target. Some Sometimes she'll hit different people. The worst person she can hit is probably going to be Uriel, because she could potentially stat you out. You really want to keep Uriel and Vanessa, or not Vanessa, Stella alive and have their defense and intelligence up as much as you can and especially speed too so they can move more often um, right here we're obviously going to use Ariel and we're going to use our trust guard trust charge on this team so we're going to go to Felix and we're actually going to use a line guard up which is right here we have other abilities but line guard up is what we want it's going to give a speed boost and a defense boost so we're going to use it here actually it will go use on Stella and uh in here. Alright, Stella and Celine. Now to Stella, we're also going to use a line guard. Go up here and use a line guard. 
And Zach, we will use um, a line guard one more time, I think. So. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to use attack up. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So. We'll use it on Stella, because she's our heavy hitter. There we go. Now it's Uriel's turn, we're going to use a Trust Crunch, obviously, so Gravel on your hands and knees. Inflicts Poison, Paralysis, Fever, Fatigue, Idle, Attack, <laughs> additionally Attack Defense, Intelligence, Speed, down two ranks. That is insane, and it pretty much always hits too, it doesn't really miss, unlike other abilities. This is obviously the best thing, best Trust uh, Charge that I can, I know we have, so. Go ahead and use it on the enemy. And from here on it's pretty easy, There's, it's pretty much just a very one-sided fight. See, they're, everyone's paralyzed. Now, here what we're going to do is actually take Celine and go to our skills and go to Cherry Blossom. Use it on Vanessa. She's the more dangerous out of the two. So use that. Now, it'll take a turn to charge up. Now, for the Felix, we just go ahead and use skills. And then you can go down to use... I'm going to say it's Tail Cutter. Yeah, you can use Tail Cutter. So we'll do that. And does some good damage. You'll get a couple of thousand damage there. Now Stella, we're going to use Shadow Flame. Shadow Flare. And for Uriel, we're also going to be using Shadow Flare. So we'll go ahead and use that. You can see very high damage there. Even more since she's already bu uh, buffed. Then we got Cherry Blossom off. It does quite a bit of damage. Uriel, we're also going to use sh another Shadow Flare. So hopefully that'll do some damage. Very good. And see she's paralyzed. Vanessa can't move either. Now Zach, we're going to go and um, go ahead and use attack up on Uriel. So she will hit a little bit harder in Felix's turn. We'll use another... Um, I guess we'll just use a tail cutter again. There we go, and we actually got a break that time. You probably won't get a break, but I went ahead and got lucky there and got a break. Um, I promise I didn't plan that, but it doesn't matter either way. You should be able to win the fight regardless. Um, we just got to do a little bit extra damage, so it's good for us. Now Stella, again, go to Shadow Flare. You should have enough MP to use multiple Shadow Flares at this point. So, getting a Shadow Flare off. And... They can, still can't move, so this is their second turn of not moving. Shadow Flare one more time, and I think that should be it. You can see our buffed intelligence really doing work there. And we actually got a break again, which they're already dead, so it doesn't matter. But we'll just go ahead and use a couple more Shadow Flares. Get some nice overkill damage, and that should help us out a little bit. There we go, very clean fight, and yours should look something like that too, I think, uh, even without any breaks. The first time I did it, I actually didn't get any breaks, and I still was able to clean the fight out very easily, so... This uh, time I'm showing you guys how to do it, It's uh, you should have a very easy time. So. And we cleaned up. So we got attack down, and gravity cross is actually a good ability, but... Got some jewels, none of them were actually going to equip, but... Yeah. <laughs> it looks like that attack... Like that attack would hit me. Huh? Help me! Go, oh, not again. I promise I'll come for your Uriel. It looks like a long way down. Yes, but I have a feeling they survived. Given the thick skulls, count on it. Uriel. So it wasn't Zack after all. What a fool I've been. Uriel, get it together. I, um, we can discuss this somewhere else. It's dangerous here. Okay. Looks like we can't return the way we came. So we'll have to go all the way through the pass. Beyond this point is off limits. It appears we'll not be able to use the routes. We should search for another way around. Alright, 
here we go. So from that point on, we're going to go ahead and heal up. Very convenient heal there. Let's go down here and grab the chest. Get a large Rubik's on. Alright, here we go. Let's go ahead and run up here. Heal one more time. Actually got into a fight. Let's run up here. And there's no hidden tunnels or anything in here we have to worry about. Alright, there's nothing special in this little room here. Let's go up a little bit. We're finally out of that place. According to the map, if we head north and then east, we should come to Gutenberg Town. Well, that looks like it'll be a good walk from here. We might want to keep extra alert since we don't know what kind of monsters we'll encounter. Good idea. Okay, so if we're actually going to be going straight and then loop around this area and then go all the way through this little pass here and there'll be a town right here. And you'll get some more dialogue and yeah, so that's where we're going to go. Let's go ahead and run up. As usual, I'll be skipping the battles, so... Alright, so run straight up here and loop around this area. And go all the way over here. Alright, keep going this way. In between this pass here, and then down. Okay, so down this way, and we should be at the town right here. Okay, so we've arrived at the town, we just have to simply go up here. We'll be given a cutscene. Or dialogue. Well, what's that smell? Is that smoke? No, steam. Look, it's all hot water. It appears to be the same flowing from the mountain as well. There are fish swimming in here. Wow, you're right. Hey, don't try catching any. You don't even know if they're safe to eat. I suppose you're right. The water does have a strange taste to it. Though, I could probably still get away with drinking some. Don't even think about it. Oh, this is a rather odd town, isn't it? I agree. Anyway, after a long journey, we could use some rest. Good idea. Let's look for an inn. Okay, so before we do that, we're actually going to go and grab a couple of things. Here's the inn right here, for those of you who are wondering. You simply walk in. And I'll show you in a couple seconds. So we're going to go here and we're going to grab a chest. Or actually, I'm sorry, we're going to talk to this guy. This person has, if we have fossils, this is where we're going to try to, to get fossils. Um, by now, I don't know if you're going to have five or not, but if you do. And there, we're going to run in this little house. We're going to pick up the chest. Got a hearty peel. Good. Now let's go over here, and you can't actually go inside this building yet. So, if you try, the guards will stop you. We're gonna open this chest up. We got a lodestone. And we're gonna go up here. Oh, wrong way. I think we can go in here too. Yeah. Chill out this area. Oh. That leads to a hot spring, but it's still being ready for the day. I can't go in there yet. My bad. Down this way. And you can talk to some of these people, though you don't have to, certainly. There's a chest right here we're gonna grab. Got a speed boost. And we go in here, and obviously you're gonna grab this chest. And that is it, I think. Um, I didn't synthesize any jewels to be used yet. None of the jewels I syn synthesized I used yet. Except for one. I think there's actually one I use. Nah, I'm not gonna use it. It's fine. I don't think it's good enough to use. So I'm not going to do it. We will go ahead and sell some of our stuff. We'll sell that lodestone we just got. Which I think is here. Go up here and sell our lodestone. Always good areas. Okay. And we have four of these, so we'll sell those. Got a nice bit of money. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and buy some stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Buster Whip. Buy one of those. Buster Sword. Use one of those. Buster Tail. 
And we have Buster Parasa, which we don't want to use because it's going to lower the intelligence. And for uh, Uriel, all of, pretty much all her damage is from magic, so lowering intelligence is really a bad idea. This is a good Buster Vest to get. Buster Fan. We're going to buy one of those too. Scroll down a little bit. Go ahead and grab some Buster. Actually, we don't want to buy any Buster armor because we need defense. We need intelligence on Felix too. So, and we can't buy Buster coat for the same reason because again, Stella and Uriel do a lot of magic damage. It's not worth losing that intelligence. So, we can get some platinum cat ears though. We're gonna lose some strength, but we will get some intelligence and vitality, and that's really good on Uriel. So we'll buy those. Here we go. So we'll go ahead and equip that stuff. And we have a great sword. We can upgrade the Buster Sword. Buster Vest. We'll go ahead and keep that. Gothic Ribbon. We'll go ahead and upgrade. Actually, we'll keep. We're not gonna change that. Buster Tail. Buster Whip. Not gonna change that. We're gonna keep our room parasol. But we will give platinum cat ears to Uriel. And go ahead and upgrade to I don't know, we have a choice between Buster Vest or Gothic Ribbon. I think we're gonna go with Buster Vest. Uriel's kind of a hybrid champion, so it's kind of weird. But... Alright, so that is all the cool stuff we can buy. We can't go, up here, go in here. I think there's a chest in here. Oh, I lied. There's no chest. Okay. We don't really need any, any items right now, so I'm going to go into the inn. Here we go. Oh, over there. Alright. Now we will get in some more dialogue, so. Now that was a meal. I wonder how many fish, how these fish were going to taste, but they turned out delicious. I'm glad you like them. If only, you can only find them here, so be sure to have your fill. This is one of the most interesting talents I've ever seen. At first, it's the first to see hot water running in canals, for sure. The water itself comes from a natural hot spring deep below the ground's surface. For normal people, on the other hand, they use water jewels to change the temperature to or purify water for daily basis. Daily use. That's why you don't see a lot of tourists in other towns and villagers, but here they seem to come in droves, so there's hardly ever a slow season. I can certainly see why. The only other thing I could tell you about this town is Mayor Aver. Arvel's forefathers established it, but I hate to bore you to tears with the story, so I'll get back to my work. We won't ask, we won't take any more of your time, but thanks. You're welcome, now please enjoy your evening. Well, I'm more stuffed than a fat cat. You are a fat cat. So what do you say we move our conversation to Uriel? Wait, Felix, shouldn't we give her more time to... It's okay, really. I'll tell you everything I can remember. Up until two years ago, I was born and raised in a village close to the outside world. Those who lived there were zealous in their faith towards the deities and offering them, and offerings to them were a common sight. However, having been born with magical powers of my own, I have been brought up to be one of those same sacrifices in a time of need. They were going to offer human sacrifice? Then a story about your friends was all a lie. It was really me I was talking about. So that's why you're afraid of me when we first met, weren't you? Yes, but seeing you in that form helped me put my mind at ease. But the day my village was attacked by a horde of monsters was the same day I was to be sacrificed. Luckily, I was in the basement of my own home. When it happened, and everyone in the village, being unable to fend off the monsters, was killed in a matter of minutes. That's when Julius showed up. He defeated the monsters and began searching for survivors. He dug me out of the rubble and what was left of my house, and without telling me his name, he left only referring to himself as a hero. So he was a self-proclaimed hero even from the beginning. Huh, that sounds like him. From then, I spent over one year studying 
what remaining books I could find in the village and learn magic as a way to repay him for saving my life. Ariel. After that, I began my journey to find him. How However, along the way, I was somehow transported to Asdivine. I think it may have happened while I was asleep on one night. I see. So never knowing your own world, you must have not noticed the new, the new one you found yourself in. Yes, after traveling for a year, I finally met him. Or rather, I should say, I met Zack. And now, the rest of the story, you know the rest of the story from here. I've been mistaken this whole time. And due to it, I caused you a lot of trouble. More than you deserve, in fact. Nobody here thought you were any trouble. Sex right. You've been great help to some to us on more occasions than we could count. Which is pretty much true. Ariel is like your strongest one of your strongest attackers. It's very kind of us to say. I mean it. However, Ariel, knowing Julius is one of the one who rescued you, what about what do you plan to do now? He doesn't look to me like someone like one to help anyone, but I suppose it is what it is. I want to return the favor, but knowing it was him... Nobody's going to force you to make up your mind now. That's right. You'd probably be best sleeping on it. And that's what I'll do. Alright, so they go to sleep, and in the, in the morning... Zack, have you seen Ariel? No way. No, why? When I woke up, she was gone. She did not leave a letter, either. There's a chance she could have gone to see Julius. I find it hard to believe she'd do that, but even more so that she'd do it without saying a word to anybody. Excuse me, but was there a female traveler here? Oh, there you are. Huh. And who are you? You're not the one I saw last night. The one you saw last night? Yes, one like you and a young lady left town together. Something looked strange about the whole thing, so I felt as if I should tell the other young lady I saw with her yesterday. If she looked like you, Zach, then could it be? It has to be Julius. Could you by chance tell us where the two of them went? East, I think. East, I think. Think, which would mean in the direction of Trellis Shrine. Trellis Shrine to the east. Thank you. That should be a great help. I know it's not my place to say anything, but be sure you work hard to get along. Zack. Right. It doesn't mean Ariel was kidnapped at this point, but I'm still worried about her. Now let's go. Ariel has left the party. And a quest is added. Awesome. Okay, so now we are going to be going to this shrine, which is pretty much just keep going east to the edge of this little point here, and we'll go into a shrine. And that is a great place to stop and leave it for the next episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in episode 31. You guys have a good one. Alright, see you later.